Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, today we're checking out priests who converted to Islam because he challenged Ahmed did that. That is actually strange. I don't think. I don't know. Let me just check it out. Let me just check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, you will be availed of the opportunity of putting questions to the speaker later. Ladies and gentlemen, Reverend Cunningham, who is now fondly known as Brother Jalaluddin, will address you, whereafter he will introduce the next speaker. Assalamu alaikum. Before I start saying what I have to say, if anybody wants refreshments, they're on my right at the back, they are available to you. Alhamdulillah, that means all praise is due to Allah. I am a revert. You may wonder what that is. Every child is born a Muslim. According to our Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, every child born is born a Muslim. And so, I too was born a Muslim. But sadly, my folks, my parents, who didn't know any better, taught me the faith of their fathers. They taught me Christianity. And I came to love the church that I belonged to. I came to respect them. And I was raised up a Christian. And all my life, I cherished the thought that one day I would pray and work for the church. I would become a priest. I worked hard. I studied hard. And I eventually did go to Rome. But as a young cleric, as a young seminarian, you question a great deal. You learn a lot of dogmas. You learn a lot of philosophies. And I began to question all the time about the oneness of God, the creator of this universe. But I still did not get enough information. I sometimes was a little bit of a headache to my professors, but alhamdulillah, they put up with me. On my return, after my ordination to the diaconate, I came back to South Africa, and one of my dearest friends was not at the airport to meet me. I was a little surprised and naturally disappointed. And when I arrived at the airport, my parents said they hadn't seen this fellow. His name was Carl. He was also going to become a priest in the Catholic Church. So I went around to see him. And he told me that he and I could no longer be friends. So I said, what's preventing you, be, you and I becoming friends or remaining friends? He said, well, I'm no longer a Catholic. I said, fine, if you're no longer a Catholic, that shouldn't pre prevent us from bringing friends. But if you're no longer a Catholic, what are you? He said, I'm a Muslim. I was stunned. I said, a Muslim? They're heathens. They don't believe in God. They don't believe in Christ. Peace be upon him. He said he wasn't prepared to fight with me, he wasn't prepared to argue with me. He said, go along to the people who have taught me Islam and talk to them. So I said, who's done this to you? He said, Ahmed did that. I said, that does it. I've had enough of this man. I'm going to see him, which I did. Mr. Didat and Mr. Vanker and Mr. Khan were in the office in Madras Arcade and I went along. But it was an encounter of the Didat kind. I hadn't anticipated such a man. And within a short period of time, he proved to me, step by step, that there isn't a trinity. He revealed to me the simplicity and beauty of Allah's word in the Holy Quran. And eventually, one Juma, on Friday, which is our congregational day, I was the reciter of La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, which means there is no object worthy of worship except Allah, and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the messenger of Allah. It's very difficult when one becomes a revert, and to get back to the revert, very often we 
we imagine or we think that people are converts. Nobody converts to Islam. I said originally, everyone is born Muslim. We just go off the Surat al mustaqim we go off the straight path. So I reverted back onto the path of Islam. It was difficult, very, very, very difficult. The community I had left were not too happy with me. My family persecuted me. But it's understood. I think if I had a son or a daughter and they were to revert to another religion or convert other than, uh, to another religion other than Islam, I would naturally be upset. But Alhamdulillah, I found a new life in Canada. I went to live in Canada for a time and started a new practice. I had new friends. I had this new religion. But I was destined to come back. But in all this time that I was away, I wasn't practicing this new religion, this Islam. I was a Muslim. I'd recited the Kalima, but I wasn't practicing it. But now, Alhamdulillah, I'm a five-time namazi. That means I make my salah five times a day. And I'm full-time with the Islamic Propagation Center. I'm a missionary for Islam. Well, like, this is beautiful, guys. Like, I will say this. If you don't have knowledge about a religion, don't go and argue with Ahmed Dad or Zaki Naik. Like, they are two heroes, guys. They are good. Like, these are men... Uh, I personally listen to them. I, I feel they are very, very intelligent. So <laughs> you just can't argue with those kind of people, guys. You have to be strong. You have to be strong with your mind. I will never try it. Like I will never try arguing with someone like that. But if I do, guys, I, I need to make a lot of research. Like I mean, I need to have big books reading all day long. But this was amazing, guys. To be honest, I don't know, I feel super pumped up about this video, but this was amazing. He said he was persecuted by his parents. You are going to be persecuted, like, they are going to look at you like a fool, like. But when you understand the religion of Islam, you, you get to know that is, wait, he said something. I'll get back to that, but he said something that if you weren't born a Muslim, but I believe we're all born sinners. And we're supposed to watch by the blood of Jesus for us. Because Jesus died on the cross for us. Oh, you don't believe Jesus died on the cross for <laughs> Okay, but we Christians believe that we are unborn sinners and we need to come to God. Like, you, you remember that Adam and Eve committed a sin, then they were chased away from the Garden of Eden. So, what caused Adam and Eve? But we are all sinners in this world, so we need to like accept. I'm talking about from the Christian point of view. <laughs> Back to what I was saying. Guys, Islam guys, I give you understand the video, you understand that Jesus is actually talked about. But the only problem I'm having with the religion, I will say, is the fact that you guys don't believe Jesus died. Like, prove it to me. <laughs> the people are the I just wanted to prove it to me because it was written in the Quran, Jesus didn't die. It was written in the Bible, Jesus died. So I don't know if, <laughs> I just can't believe your Quran and this unbelieve my Bible, it's just strange. So like, prove to me Jesus didn't die, like, prove it. Because I watched, I've seen things, I've read, so I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I'm open. Just prove it to me, Jesus didn't die. Guys, just like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Best.